Terminated. San Francisco reverses course, now bans killer robots. Well, come to find out, leftists found out that uh, people don't take too kindly to being killed by robots. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram. All right, let's talk about this news here. Only a week after approving a plan to allow killer robots in their city, officials in San Francisco have abruptly reversed course and have banned them. The Washington Examiner reported the city's board of supervisors voted unanimous, unanimously this week to, um, to ban robots. A week earlier, the vote had been 8 to 3 um, to allow them in specific instances where police determined deadly force was required to protect the public. And I've done a whole video about it when they first um, talked about this. Um, the reversal followed pushback and anger from some people, the report explained. The city's police department had claimed the robots would not be armed with guns, but rather used to deliver explosives as a last resort. So imagine someone sitting in there in, room, in a room with a gun and a robot just drives up in there and delivers a bomb and blow that person up. That's just crazy. Uh, quote, the use of robots in potentially deadly force situations is a last resort option. We live in a time when unthinkable mass violence is becoming more commonplace. We need the option to be able to save lives in the event we have that type of tragedy in our city. Police Chief William Scott said when uh, the initial plan was adopted. Um, and um, WND had reported when the Rutherford Institute, which fights in court on behalf of, of constitutional civil and religious rights, warned the robots would create problems. No, no duh. I don't know why they didn't see this, but when they had, they had to have like something like this in committee or something at first before they decided to try to push this dumb, um, this dumb law. So I, I don't understand what these, these leftists be thinking. Um, the Institute's president, John W. Whitehead wrote to city officials just as they were making the decision, in fact, to adopt the plan. He said, quote, police in America are already dressed in trappings of war drilled in deadly art of combat in the deadly art of combat and trained in a uh, trained to look upon every individual they interact with as an armed threat and every situation as a deadly force encounter in make in the making at, at a time when it doesn't uh, take much to provoke a cop into open and fire on an unarmed person guilty of doing nothing more than standing a certain way or moving a certain way or holding something anything the police could misinterpret to be a weapon the last thing this country needs are police agencies armed with killer robots uh, no joke and mind you the leftists are the same people that try to tell you that cops are going around killing black people every day which i really don't believe in but these are the same people that tell you that but then again want to turn around and give cops robots this makes no sense but you know they don't deal in logic or reason um, he explained California adopted Assembly Bill One Forty, um, Assembly Bill Four Eighty One last year, quote, which requires law enforcement agencies to obtain approval from a county's board of supervisors prior to taking certain actions relating to the funding, acquisition, or use of military equipment. Such equipment, he explained, now can be used, quote, when risk of loss of life to members of the public or officers are imminent, and outweighs any other force option available to the SFPPD. So what do you, options do you not, I mean, you what options do you not have to take someone out where you need to bring in a darn robot to do it? I, I don't understand. It, it, it doesn't make any logical sense. But of course, like I said, they don't deal in logic. But Rutherford warned there's inadequate definitions for risk imminent and how um, any situation it, um, any situation it is decided that the level of risk outweighs other options. It's very, very subjective, is what he said. Quote, this, um, um, this appears to leave the decision entirely to the police department, which could uh, mis miscalculate the risk or apply a low standard 
for the risk required, thereby further endangering the citizenry, the letter explained. Further, Whitehead explained, quote, at least out of SFPDs and the city's uh, self-interest financially, qualified immunity might not provide protection from liability for excessive force or innocent persons harmed by those robots. Just imagine an innocent bystander being being uh, killed by these robots. What do you think would happen? They would sue the crap out of this city. I mean, it, it, they, didn't, they didn't think this through. Um, quote, Justice Clarence Thomas has asked why government officials who have time to make calculated choices about enacting or enforcing unconstitutional, unconstitutional policies receive the same protection as a police officer who makes a split-second decision to use force in a dangerous setting. Since police officers live with um, lives will not be at any potential or perceived risk of harm when remotely operating an armed robot, they and the city should be exposed to greater liability for the miscalculations and harms caused by the excessive use of force. The city's uh, police force acquired 12 robots from 2010 to 2017, which already are in use and are deployed to assess bomb situations or help in low visibility circumstances. Crime has surged in San Francisco since 2020, and there are now smash and grab robberies. Um, smash and grab robberies are common. So instead of uh, uh, making the laws tougher on criminals and keeping these criminals locked up, they'd rather have a robot come in and blow you up. I mean, again, it, it defies logic. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.